Today, we're going to talk about an extremely important topic that's central to our daily life, and that's motivation. Motivation is fundamental to our daily life. It's what allows us to get out of bed in the morning. It's what allows us to pursue long-term goals or short-term goals. The important feature of motivation, which is that motivation is a two-part process, which is about balancing pleasure and pain. In fact, it's fair to say that dopamine is responsible for wanting and for craving. And that's distinctly different from the way that you hear it talked about normally, which is that it's involved in pleasure. So yes, dopamine is released in response to sex. It's released in response to food. It's released in response to a lot of things, but it's mostly released in anticipation and craving for a particular thing. Well, your dopamine neurons are firing at a low rate until you start thinking about the thing that you want or the thing that you're looking forward to. When you eat that food, the amount of dopamine that's released in this reward pathway goes up about 50% above baseline. Sex, which is fundamental to our species' continuation and reproduction, sex does release dopamine, and it increases dopamine levels about 100%, so basically doubles them. Nicotine increases the amount of dopamine about 150% above baseline. Cocaine and amphetamine increase the amount of dopamine that's released a thousandfold within about 10 seconds of consuming the drug. However, just thinking about food, about sex, about nicotine, if you like nicotine, or cocaine or amphetamine, can increase the amount of dopamine that's released to the same degree as actually consuming the drug. Why? Why is it that we can get addicted to things that fail to get to elicit the same massive amount of pleasure that they initially did. Being addicted to something isn't just about the fact that it feels so good that you want to do it over and over again. And that's because of this pleasure pain balance that underlies motivation.